All right, I've tried to make this out with a magnifying glass and I can't read it. Oh, there we go. A Toshiba UL N2803 APG chip. So I'll have to look that up, see what it is. Now, as we go back to here, we have these little pin headers, which is where our grids get fastened. And they're sticking together here. So the grids fit into these little pin headers like this. And I'm going to put these four together and we'll take a look and see if we can get some action out of them today. All right. All right, trying to get all these things lined up has not been exactly easy. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder one in first. Alright, then I will just move over <laughs> and try and get the next one in. Yeah, this is somewhat tricky. trying to fit these into place here in the slightest bump and it just goes all cattywampus all right I think I got the second one in now let's try for the third one I'm trying to line this up as best as I can. All right. On to the next one. This is being a lot more difficult than I had imagined this to be. I thought this would be the easiest part of the build, and it turns out, son of a, this is like one of the most difficult, just trying to get these all aligned, wow, because they don't really fit down in them teeny tiny little holes that well which I figured they would all right I'm gonna try something different and I'll be right all right well I had originally thought that these would all go in you know together as one and then you'd solder the entire row at once but I'm here to tell you that is so not the case this is one at a time
So I'll tell you, this is definitely going to revise my time estimate of how long it's going to take to do this. Probably going to have to add another hour. I didn't think this would really be that difficult. But that's what you get for thinking. Anyway, I'm going to solder in these last two, and then I'm going to solder in the whole other two grids, and then we'll be back. Those four grids are all soldered in place. Now, observations. Start from the right-hand side, put that pin in. Use a pair of pliers to take each next pin in turn and put them in. All right, so the next thing, those are, those are the cathodes, by the way. The next thing we need to do is line up the anodes. So I'm going to bend each one of these 90 degrees. And we're going to have to do that for all four rows. But we're not going to do that right now. Just going to do this top row and show you how they should go together. Wow, these things are springy as shit. All right, so there's one. This one I'm going to pre-tin here a little bit. So that all I have to do is hopefully get it on here. Yeah, and my first joint fell apart. All right, I, I was going to get a lot further than this today, but I got those first four soldered together. Now I got to move on to the next ones and the next ones and the next ones. So I'm going to try and get that done. And if I can, I'll be back real quick. I got those four all together on the anodes. And now we'll get to the part, which is what I really wanted to show you. So we have all of the cathodes going together this way. Or I'm sorry. Yeah, they're locked. Yeah, they come across with these pins here. And the anodes are going to come across on the all second. Right, so I have the in. four anode rows connected. And now I'm going to show you how they connect to the board, which was kind of the whole purpose of this video today. So we have all the cathodes connected via these pins here and they are connected vertically as well. All of the anodes are connected across and we need to connect them vertically to this outside pin. Let me zoom in here. You see for the last row here, we have a cathode pin 
and then we have an anode pin. So, what we need to do is for each grid, we need to have a wire. I'm going to start out with the first one with this red wire here. Which I'm going to attempt to solder in here. <laughs> oh my. Okay, come around this way. All right, so that red wire is now soldered in there. And what we need to do is solder it to this top row of the anodes. So I'm just going to nip it. Like that. And then I'm going to strip it. Mm. Yeah, that didn't work out so well, did it? Try not to rip this thing out of here. Okay. So now we're all better. Bend that up where it goes. And this comes right here. And it's going to connect to the first one, the top row. So that goes ooh, just like that. Now our next one comes down and connects to the second row. So do my best to get that in there. <laughs> you know, they say for soldering, the best thing you could have is a third arm. Ain't that the truth? Now this one connects to the next row of anodes. And don't worry if you can't really see it at this point. I'm going to show you in one second. All right, so if I flip this like this, you can see the top row connects to the first pin, the second row connects to the second pin, the third row, and the fourth row, and it'll just keep going on down like that. Well, this has been a trying afternoon. This is a lot more fiddly than I had expected. 
But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Feel free to comment and please subscribe. And I'm out of here.